Um, item DD is fees for outdoor dining permits requested by council members Hyden and Rackman. Who, who wants to go first? Uh, I'll be you happy to do that. Again. In the in the spirit of uh, reducing fees, I would like to propose that we uh, reduce the current fees for outdoor dining permits and make it a little more equitable across the board. I'm all with you. Uh, it's it, it's been difficult for a lot of smaller cafes and restaurants. Um, that have physically larger spaces but still only have a couple of small tables, the, the fee structure makes it difficult for them to, uh, to operate efficiently. So um, I think the best thing to do, the simplest thing to do, and I've discussed this with several of the restaurant owners, is to charge a flat $25 a year per chair fee uh, instead of the current fees, which can go up to $1,200 for, uh, for the same amount of uh, of outdoor tables, um, and uh, we do need to charge something in this case because we do have the responsibility every year of going out, uh, making sure that the restaurants or cafes have liability insurance, um, and make sure that their operations are uh, neat. There's enough uh, space on the sidewalk to permit uh, wheelchairs and disabled people to get around conveniently and easily. So we do have to go out there and examine. So there's a cost. So rather than the current, um, the current fee structure, which is quite a bit higher, I'd like to consider lowering the fees. I think all of us feel that having outdoor seating at these cafes is a welcome and a, an appealing thing in our, in our business areas. So uh, I'd like to make it as easy as possible for the uh, current operators. Councilman Rockman, anything you want to add? Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's just it's a nice experience. It really adds, adds a really nice flavor to the restaurants, but doing it by, I believe it's square footage right now, right. is exorbitant because if you have a larger area but only utilize part of it, you're paying, it, you can't do it. It's, it's just cost prohibitive. Council Member uh, Tarantino? Yeah, I, I, I agree with you, what you, you're talking about here. I'm just trying to figure out how do you enforce the per chair fee? Because if I, you know, if I was a restaurant owner, I put out, you know, four chairs but if all of a sudden I got busy, I bring the other chairs out and put them out. Who's going to be watching? I how many chairs? The business in Bell one. No, our the business in Bell. Business in Bell is not going to be working yeah. restaurant. <laughs> the so I, I'll say two things on this, and I, I truly understand the principle, and I really don't care about the fees. But in theory, um, the fee is supposed to be relative to the cost the city encounters in administering the fee, mm -hmm. and. This has always been one of the most confusing things to me. As I understand it, Public Works enforces some part of it, and development issues the permit for others, depending on whether it's public property or sidewalk. Um, so just understand that a $25 per chair fee is two things. It's not enforceable. You're trusting the person, say, I'm going to put out eight chairs, and I'm just telling you, I'm not going to have anybody running around here uh, yeah, Saturday sure. night checking to make sure that Joe's restaurant has eight chairs and not six or whatever. Um, and, you know, I only point out that the fee, was, was, we had a long discussion of this many years ago, as I we recall, did. and it is a city council that city council general, you know, supports, adopts the fees. And uh, right. so that's all I'll that's I, I all just like to say. I didn't understand it then, and I don't understand it now. In response to that, most of the smaller places in the downtown, they, they can't put out more than four chairs no matter what because they simply don't have the space well, to do Why it. don't we have a lower per square foot fee? Well, that's another you know, that could be that chair, that Because that way it's way fixed it. and you know what it is. Uh, here's my suggestion, if I can mm -hmm. make one, is that if there's a... Uh, consensus on the council to somehow lower the fee for outdoor dining, let the staff have a month to go back and review and okay. come up with a, a recommendation. Right. We'll consider the per seat fee, we'll consider the lower square footage fee, uh, and uh, because yeah. it'd be good for me because I'm very confused You're as right. to what we do now anyway. We send out engineers to certain locations, we send out development exactly. people to other the locations. Rights. The air rights, good yes. point, yes. I just want to make one correction. Now the, the permit comes through, uh, through Public Works. Uh, the building officials just help out in monitoring it, but not it's not an official job of theirs. It's run through public works. Well, maybe that's right, but I, there's, there is a distinction between somebody doing it on private property and somebody doing it on public property. There is a different fee and a distinction. I, I know that because I know it confuses me tremendously. 
Yeah, they would do the private. That's correct. We don't we don't touch that. Correct. Uh, go ahead. When the fee is calculated now on a per square foot fee, yes, does it? Where it goes from, I guess, the start of the you know the end of the business to the curb to the whatever would be. There's the actually supposed to be a roped off an area that's it's delineated. Correct. correct. Measured. There's actually supposed to be. Right, because there has to be a w space to walk and temporary. There's supposed to be temporary things out there to square it off. <laughs> In the original it, legislation, yes. yes. How, however, we have yeah. looked at options where, if for some reason it made more sense to have the, the pedestrians walk near the property, and there was a plaza or area where they could move out to possibly move them out and measure off that area. But it's just the area that's measured it's just off. The, it's just the area that, that they are okay. coordinating off for. Dining. Right. And dining. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Does it make sense in the context of looking at this to unify the public and private property under one umbrella, put it all under the Department of Development, for example? Is there is there a, a logic to it being split up, or is that just we, we're doing it because that's the way we've done it? As far as I know, that's the way we've done it. Can I suggest that you have some conversations to, between the departments and think about whether one or the other of you wants to assume responsibility for this <laughs> together? Or neither. Uh, and, and, Give can it to I, and, I, and I just want to say, and, and the council members know this because I communicated this to them, very happy to have that on the agenda. I agree with you 100 percent. Happy to wait uh, to see what yeah. the further analysis will indicate. But I'll also tell you, um, you know, I, I almost don't care if it's unenforceable. You know, if, if someone is authorized for four chairs and they put out six chairs because right. they've got business going, it's hallelujah. And uh, we, we should, this is not the kind of thing we should be spending a lot of time and energy policing. Right. It's just, it's just uh, such so a let's nice just find out the most rational way to do it and, and get it down to as low as it can realistically be. And let's encourage activity we all think is positive. Right. I'm just as long as you said that, when you get a call on a Monday that Joe's restaurant blocked the sidewalk, what's the city going to do about it? I'm assuming you'll answer the call that we shouldn't enforce. Of all the calls I might get, that's one of the ones that would have set me the least. <laughs> I'll have to go back through my emails. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a good assortment of things there. Uh, okay, anything further right now? Uh, so next month, can we look forward to something? Is that uh, Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, Item 18, uh, proposed amendment to the Code of the City of Rochelle regarding fees for permits for outdoor dining. This is an outgrowth of a discussion item that was placed on the table by Council Members Hyden and Rackman. Um, do you want to say anything first, City Manager, about the, the staff's uh, proposal? Uh, we or tried to be as simple as possible, uh, I think what the request was. And uh, so here it is, one to four chairs, $100 a year, five to 12, 200, and over 12, 300. Okay. Do the Council Members have like to say this, thank uh, you very much. Uh, I think it's very appropriate it's and sensible. That I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sensible uh, proposal, and, I, and uh, I've, I've mentioned it to some of the downtown uh, restaurant-owned cafe owners, and they're very pleased with this, and I think this is appropriate given the uh, situation. Anything else from Council? No. Uh, I agree 100 percent. Thank you. Uh, this is a much better policy. <coughs> I also have one uh, side question. Uh, I raised uh, last month the issue of uh, how responsibility for regulating and overseeing this is split between the Departments of Public Works and Development, depending on whether it's private property, public property, and uh, that seemed like um, that was probably a, a little bit irrational from our organizational perspective and probably a little confusing from a business perspective, and I wonder if you had any chance to think about whether responsibility ought to be unified under one department. Yeah, I guess I, I can tell you. Um, because we do all the sidewalks and the streets, I would say we just keep it as is. I spoke with Louise Aragon, and uh, I mean, they get involved with all kinds of building issues. For us, it's not much of a burden to, to go out, especially with a system like this, to manage it. It's Short answer is yes, and DPW will do keep it. Keep it the way it is. Well, not keeping it. You're going to handle the outdoor dining. Oh, that's what we were handling, the outdoor dining. The only thing they got involved in was, um, was in terms of health violations, but we would handle it. So you'd handle it whether it's on public or private property, right? If no, if it went the backyard, we don't. There's no permit issue from us. Then it's a then it's a health issue and building issue. It's private property versus public yes. property. Anything right. public property we manage. So the jurisdiction for public works, they don't have any jurisdiction on private property. The building department has jurisdiction on private property. I don't need a so permit. We'll, we'll look at it, but I, I don't. in private property. Right. right. I seem to recall some. I'm not going to pursue the point right now. I seem to recall there was some, there was some wrinkle something. here. Yeah. You know I'll, what I'm I'll talking follow. about? I didn't know what you're talking yeah. about, but I think it was it had to do with one of the ex-Avalon buildings, and then 
part of the sidewalk was public, part of it was private. Uh, and that's what created combined. Yeah. 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 All right. We'll, we'll follow up on All right. Well, thank you. Um, is item 18.1 unanimously moved and seconded? Yes. Yes. yes.